next week, the Louisville Civic Orchestra will be holding two free concerts featuring masterpieces by Brahms, as well as special performances from guest soloists. Here in the studio today, to talk a little bit more about the event. You're, of course, invited out to it, is conductor and artistic director Gabriel Lefkowitz, as well as board member and viola player Rosemary Sims. Great to have you both here. Welcome back. Thank, Thank you. you so much for having right, us. We always love having you guys on just because it speaks to do you like an instrument? Do you like to play? <laughs> you can become part of the Louisville Civic Orchestra. You know, tell us a little bit about uh, this concert and what you hope people enjoy. Sure, like all of our concerts, these are completely free. Mm. They're, they're fun for the family. Uh, they feature great music. They are also featuring local musicians, which is an yeah. important part of our musician, uh, our, of our mission. So not just local musicians from the orchestra, but on this concert, we have two special soloists. Uh, principal players from the Louisville Orchestra, of oh which I am gosh, also a member. Yes. <laughs> uh, Nick Finch, our principal cellist, and Julia Noon, who is my wife and also associate concertmaster of the Louisville Orchestra, they will be performing the Brahms Double Concerto. Oh, wow. So unusually, it's a concerto for two instruments which kind of come together and create an eight-stringed super instrument. It's a really wonderful piece. Super Everyone power Everyone should come and, performance, and see it. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Why were these pieces from Brahms um, chosen and, and how are they so exciting for musicians to kind of get their instruments into, so to speak? Well, we actually did a survey of things that huh. people in the orchestra wanted to play and pieces that spoke to us. And actually, I'm really excited about this because Brahms 4 is literally my absolute favorite symphony on the planet. Yeah. And it's just um, a masterwork of classical music. When you think of classical composers and you think of um, what the mastery of classical music is, to my mind, like that is Brahms. And as classical musicians, we love to play a lot of stuff, but sometimes um, that canonical uh, masterwork is what you really, really love. Do you have to know a lot about classical music to enjoy a concert like this? Or do you hear it and you're like, wait a minute, I know what that is. <laughs> I don't think you do. I think music actually transcends that. Yeah. It just speaks so well to anyone of any level of classical music. Um, you don't have to know a lot to really love it because yeah. it's just so powerful and moving. Right, and I love that by having these superstar soloists there, I feel like you're bringing in you know, audiences that love and appreciate what you all do, I would appreciate what the Louisville Orchestra does, right? Like, you, you're going to bring in a lot of different people. 100%. Across, well, we know that folks yeah. are excited. We've gotten a lot of inquiries. And again, the concerts are completely free, no reservation required. So everyone should come check out our concerts. Two, two days, two different venues. Uh, we try to be as accessible and, and inviting as possible. And, and if people out there want to join, they can. Right, this is, you have a great backstory of what kind of brought you, A, to the viola, and B, to, to play. Right, so I actually fell into viola completely by accident. What? We thought that it was a violin, and I only started playing an orchestra to get out of math class in elementary no school. Um, I went in to play my open string and my E string, and they're like, oh no, that's not a violin, that's a viola. I was like, what is that? So we go back to the music store to return it, and the most apathetic teenager in the world is like, we don't have any violins, but if you keep the viola, you can have the books for free. And so my mother looked at me and she said, you play the viola now, and the rest <laughs> is history. And I've been playing with the Civic Orchestra consistently since about 2019. Oh, nice. And yeah. I mean, for you, has it provided uh, a creative outlet that you otherwise Absolutely. wouldn't have? I think that's one of the best things about the orchestra is that it gives regular people who have regular day jobs. I'm a realtor, we have people that are, um, mechanical engineers, teachers, educators of all sorts, a judges. Judge. A judge. A judge, yes. Judge. Like, if they can find time. Right. Right? We, it gives us a chance to be artists, yeah. and it's fantastic. We well, just love I, it. I think, too, you want to find time because it's something that's in your heart and your soul, and you want to perform. You want to bring it to other people, and I think it's beautiful that you all know that, right? Yeah. And, 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 you, and I think there's a lot of people out there, especially with the new year, they're like, wait, I dropped this years ago. Right. Maybe this is a way for me to find some joy in my life. Our tagline is every great city deserves a civic orchestra. It's something that features local musicians and just as, as uh, Rosemary said, allows people who have a passion for it but not the time or the inclination to do it professionally full time to be artists once a week on Wednesday nights yep. and then sometimes and a little bit more at and concerts. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you both for coming in so much. Wonderful. Uh, so if you would like to catch the free concerts on January 31st and February 3rd, for more information on time and all those locations, everything is right here at LouisvilleCivicOrchestra.org.